All right, let's pull out card number three, shall we? Hmm. Laundry? I got a laundry. Grandma's perfume. Bamboo? Shampoo. Men's deodorant. Fabric softener. <laughs> how, ma how many people smell absolutely nothing? How many people smell? This is a scent that not everyone can smell. Who smells nothing? Really? Interesting. Scent invisible. Don't worry, it's it. perfectly normal. <laughs> <laughs> so Leslie, tell us, this is the scent of musk. So this is galaxolide. And the, the answer is you guys are incredibly sophisticated smellers because it smells like shampoo and soap because this is a major ingredient that every manufacturer puts. We, we've learned to associate this smell with clean. So we've all, we've been doing a learning experiment. Um, and what's cool is I saw a lot of hands of people who can't, who smell nothing. And so this is a very common condition called specific anosmia. So you did well with, with having a reaction to, to card one and card two, but you're unable to detect this because you're genetically missing some of the 400 little circles that I drew earlier. So it's most likely... <laughs> Is it most disabled. likely this that you would be... Uh, smell disabled. It's a very smell common disabled. one. You're it's smell a, disabled. It's extremely common that it's... it's it's, uh, it is extremely common. We like to call it smell challenged, okay? Smell challenged. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What it actually is, it's, it's very much like, it's, it's the olfactory version of, of the colored uh, vision anomaly. Exactly. Like a, so you've got, you've got a basically okay uh, odor perception, and then you've got one notch kind of missing, where it's like you can't hear one frequency. So your, your sense of smell is normal, but you've got this one notch. Is That's that why, why it's called specific. Is that why there's that one guy at the party who's wearing way too much cologne because he can't smell it? No, it's because he's hot. <laughs>